So you want to culture isopods? After this video, you'll be an expert. Let's start with the enclosure right now. So straight up, what you're going to need, you're going to need leaf mulch, just decayed leaves. That's got bits of decaying wood and stuff like that in there as well for them to feed on. Oak leaves, a container to put them in, a water source, some food, and your colonies. Let's go. Here, this is basically my leaf mulch, my own northern exotic brand. I've got various bits of soil. It's all just leaf litter that has decayed down. That's all it is. I've got a piece of random cork bark in there as well. Um, but yeah, but that's it. It's just oak leaf litter. You can see some oak leaves there still decaying away. And that is my leaf mulch. On top of that, we're going to add leaf litter. Now this is just your standard oak leaves. These have been cleaned, sterilised. These are on the Northern Exotics line. And then um, on top of them, drop your um, dairy cow colony. So we'll go right down to the bottom of the leaf mulch and get the stuff at the bottom. This layer is supposed to be more compact than all the other layers on top of it. A few of the decaying leaves on top. The isopods will also eat all of this decaying leaf litter. A couple of little sticky bits of wood for them to munch on. A bit more added surface area in there for them. And then on top of that, stick a couple of leaves. These leaves will decay down over time and they'll get eaten by the isopods. Now, I don't want them to be able to get too high because there is air holes around the top of this rub. Now here we're going to use the dairy cow isopods. Uh, we're just going to add the cultures in now and let them start establishing. Here's the first culture going in right now. Starting this colony off with 40 dairy cow isopods. That's the first culture in already. As you can tell, they're already running around all the little bits of surface area. There's also some on that piece of cork bark just there. And we're just going to drop them straight in right now. If you're enjoying the video, please hit the thumbs up. And there it goes, uh, that's 40 isopods in there, there's a few beech leaves that came in with this colony which are also a great food source and decaying wood matter for them. And to finish it off we're just going to drop some more leaf litter on the top of the colony. Now this is solely for their food, their surface area and to carry on the ecological system. Throughout the whole process of setting up the colony, keep it dead moist, keep it nice and humid in there. I tend to spray one side more than the other so they have a moisture and humidity gradient throughout the enclosure. And that's everything you need to know about setting up the enclosure and the colonies. Here's a little close up clip of them while they're getting used to their enclosure. Let's move on to their feeding. So food wise we use the Arcadia Crestonian fuel. That's the main supplement. We have about one or two little grains in every week. Uh, they also love to chow down on the oak leaves, beech leaves, any sort of hardwood leaves. Um, and that's what decays down the leaf litter. Eat the leaves, then poo the leaves, and that's what helps keep the substrate nice and rich. Now, let's move on to temperature. I keep my colonies on top of my boa constrictor's enclosure over the hot end. The temperature ranges between 75 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit. That is the perfect breeding temperatures. We mist down one side of the enclosure twice a week and the whole enclosure once a week. That helps with a humidity gradient throughout the enclosure. The dairy cow isopods, they do reproduce quite quickly. Known in the industry as a janitor and they do love to keep their enclosure nice and clean. Which in turn makes them an absolutely amazing clean up crew. They do enjoy a little bit of protein every now and then. So any dead insects I get, I go straight in with them. I hope this video has helped everybody learn how to culture their isopods. Any questions, if I've missed anything, just drop it in the comment section below. Peace out.